17 minutes after six on this Thursday morning. It is already 30 degrees Celsius here in Kingston. That means it's only gonna get warmer. Dress appropriately. See this light shirt I'm wearing? Because I'm, I'm trying to signal to you. You know who else is in a light top? <laughs> a very light top wearing TK <laughs> Dawkins Man. has the headlines. <laughs> Man, look at this Man. nice light blouse. Thank you, thank you Dennis. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> See how I just... I see how you did that. Yeah. I see the transition. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Good morning, Andy. How Hi. are you? Hi, Teeks. I'm it's good. good to how see are you? you? I'm great. I'm great. How's good. Jeremy and Dupree? <laughs> uh, let's jump into the headlines, shall we? Um, so concerns mount over chemically ripened fruits. Mm. So there's growing unease among various stakeholders regarding the continued use of calcium carbide, colloquially referred to as carbide to hasten the ripening process of fruits. Dr. Marva Hewitt, Chief Executive Officer of the Food Hygiene Bureau of Jamaica, has voiced concern over these reports, suggesting potential risks associated with increased usage. Vendors operating within Kingston's Carnation Market have acknowledged familiarity with calcium carbide and its intended purpose. However, a street vendor opting to remain anonymous dismissed concerns, attributing its use as commonplace. So where are the mounting concerns? The, the in, and ver who are the various stakeholders? I heard one stakeholder. The point of the matter, Dennis, mm -hmm. is that this chemical that is so commonly used and it's such a part of our um, growing process, it has been linked to many dangers in the human body. Mm -hmm. And so there is concern raised about our usage of it yeah, and our continued usage raised. of there's, it. There's concern raised. As my grandmother used to raise concern, like when you buy a plant you know, and, you, and you cut it and, and my granny used to say, full of carbide. Like, yeah, there's concern. Well, it, look I, here. I, Just because I, I it's been there. done for so long doesn't no, mean, mean that somebody right. shouldn't be... I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm I'm saying that. Let me tell you why I am concerned. Yeah? Yes. Because I am of the school of thought that when I go to certain foreign countries, me fret about them food because me think so everything over there forced, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas when I'm in my home country, me mm -hmm. I don't fret on the produce because my produce is supposed to be, in my mind, organic. Mm -hmm. We have that unlocked. Mm -hmm. So that is a bit concerning because mm -hmm. they're not... So I am concerned because mm -hmm. I don't think everyone was aware that we use things to force ripe produce. No, man. No, man. So that, that is of concern. Yeah. I, I don't, think, aware. I don't okay. think everyone is okay. aware because mm -hmm. I, I also was not aware. Okay. I right. thought that we had mostly mm -hmm. organic Correct. things in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Mm -hmm. However, you know, a, a lot of the farmers um, report that sometimes they just based on need and demand they can't wait the six to nine months needed for something to to, to ripen mm. naturally and so this chemical is almost a necessity to be able to um you know a yeah, earn and, 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 and that requests. is why growing up my parents and my grandparents would always tell us don't buy from she or don't buy from that person or be very careful or for instance like it, it in my family there's a thing we don't buy aki a road because people use razor or, or open it and force it for open and all sorts of something. People, people, people do these things. I'm just saying that in terms of us telling the story, I'm a little bit, I have mounting concerns over the use of mounting concerns. Well, I am glad that the concern I have, is I, being raised. And, and various stakeholders within me <laughs> are concerned about, about the use of various stakeholders when there's only one stakeholder. Well, well the verbiage may be concerning to you, <laughs> yeah. but the actual issue at hand is concerning to others of us. So, yes, and I am I agree. So, and let I, us have I the continue. conversation yeah. because we do need to know yeah. is this a concern that we do have genuinely yeah. for the produce that we are consuming and its implications going forward, especially because we are supposedly, supposedly mm -hmm. encouraging everyone to grow what we eat, buy local, so our local needs to be mm -hmm. up to standard and yeah. hopefully mm -hmm. not full of chemicals. And so just keep in mind that this same chemical it. is banned in other um, banned in other countries. So should, should, we ban it? should we ban it in Jamaica? I didn't say well, we should ban we should be it, looking but into it's something it. that we should be looking uh, into yeah. and that it should be... Uh, Those absolutely. are the kind of conversations that we should really be having. Oh, Lord. People, let us go to the second headline, yeah, man. Let's talk about the Education Ministry and its challenging... CXE's course cuts amidst reports of Caribbean Examination Council CXE course cuts due to declining student enrollment. Jamaica's Education Ministry, alongside regional partners, are taking a stand. Education Minister Favel Williams uh, condemned CXE's decision to cut courses without prior consultation, stressing the need for collaboration before major policy changes are announced. 
Williams also announced plans to address the issue with CARICOM if a compromise is not met after an upcoming meeting with CXC set for early June. Courses facing potential discontinuation include double award agricultural science and mechanical engineering at CSEC and CAPE levels, along with electrical and electronic engineering and technology and green engineering certifications. So those are being caught there on the chopping block. Mm. You know what's crazy to me is I would imagine that those would have heavy enrollment. Me too. Because yeah, those, those are areas. literally the directions yeah. that we're yeah. heading into. Yeah. So with, with the implementation of STEM and by extension STEAM programs, mm. Mm -hmm. with the with even just you know being able to move forward as a society all of those areas are essential um, subjects so I'm very surprised that CXC would have taken a decision like that and especially without consulting mm -hmm. the the stakeholders across the region I I was when I when I heard the, the announcement last week I genuinely just assumed that you would have must have had wide-scale um, stakeholder engagement right. across the region like I, I, I can't imagine that that they would unilaterally do something like that. And so when you hear a, a minister of education speaking as if it caught her off, off guard, guard yeah. you know, it really gives you pause because you're saying, how C X C, you know, when when you when when you teach um, regional integration, one of the areas of regional integration success that you that you teach students about is the Caribbean Examinations Council because it is a, supposed to be this beacon of mm -hmm. regional partnership and it, uh, uh, um, through education. And so w you wouldn't think that some office in Barbados is, is just going to make the decision and hand it down as an edict because, hey, we've not, we're not seeing the numbers that we used to see. I would think that it would have been put on the agenda for the next meeting of the whatever, whatever council, because mm -hmm. I would imagine that by virtue of it being a Caribbean examinations council, that you'd have some kind of a council, council meeting, meeting yeah. Yeah. and then make a decision as going forward, these subjects are going to be discontinued yeah. um, as of 2025 or whenever. I, I, I wouldn't have imagined that, you know, yeah. they would have made that decision. It mm. gives me mounting concerns. <laughs> Ab absolutely, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. But the issue at hand is, I believe, the, just the fact that, like Yendi said, it's surprising that the numbers aren't. You would think yeah. they would want to be expanding yeah. these engineering areas. Engineering type of subjects. Engineering, agricultural yeah. science. You'd mm -hmm. think that those are the mm -hmm. ones that are actually mm -hmm. you know, heavily, yeah. Enrolled. Yeah. heavily yeah. enrolled in. I've noticed the fact that CXC has been introducing some new subjects some really exciting subjects um, that are relevant to the here and now economy. Mm. So there are some subjects that you know you may expect are going to lose popularity as children move into graphic design and robotics and stuff like that. Mm. But double award agri? That's a massive um, one. That's food. Yeah, you know. You, you can't um, do away with food. Unless they're just all doing single award and then they're just not interested in double award anymore. Or... Um, the electronics. I'm just, I just it's I, very that, real, quick, you know. real quick, Dennis. Mm -hmm. For those of us like myself, what is what's double award versus single award agri right, agricultural so, science? So, real so quick. when I was in high school, I did agricultural science, and you can do, you can opt to do double award versus single award. Mm -hmm. So double award agri is like a double major in agriculture because in agriculture there's two broad areas of the syllabus: animal science and plant science, and so. The easier way to get agriculture as a subject is to just pick one. But if you say, no, I'm passionate about agriculture, I'm going to do double award, gotcha. then you do the harder version of the subject and you get it as it counts as two subjects. But then you know what's also interesting? On the back of you saying that they're probably doing away with some subjects to introduce new subjects based on the direction we're going in, the subject at the very bottom of the screen was green engineering. Yeah. Yeah. That's engineering. literally... <laughs> The yeah. direction that we're going. The, the direction yeah. that we're going, yeah. See, we, we, got, we need answers. Yeah. Yeah. Green, engineering. Green engineering. That's literally the future. Mm -hmm. We need some answers to the yeah, questions, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, CXC needs Well, hopefully answer. we can follow this up and see, yeah. you know, maybe we can get some more information yeah, on yeah. this. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. All right, when we return, we get some island vibes mm. from South Carolina <laughs> with Miss Pearlie Grandson. Sunrise Foreign Exchange is up next. Oh, Please. that's in a Colorado. Not the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Not the accent.